jumping right in. One of the things I loved about your two characters uh, during the show was the quarantine pickup lines, like punctious, which I feel all the time. Um, do you have any uh, favorite lines that aren't in the show that you've just picked up from being in quarantine? Uh, yeah, babe, can you sanitize that before you bring it in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Literally all <always. Yeah. laughs> Watching the show, it's really, you know, you think years in the future, it'll really be a time capsule for this, you know, summer or spring of 2020. I guess, what will you guys personally remember most about this time period? And also like, what would you also like to forget? Oh, wow. What I've really appreciated <laughs> about this time is that I think all the connections with the people that you've been in quarantine with, at least for me, I feel even more connected and compassionate and like I, have this group of friends that we've become so close because of these circumstances. And um, we're, it's, it's like a comfort having, being with Tommy and our friend group. Um, so that's something that I really valued and kind of going back to like how it must have felt. Um, I don't know, I feel like in like the twenties or the thirties, like sitting around playing games with your friends before um, we got to this place of like being on phones and whatever constantly, but so kind of having a more human connection. Mm -hmm. um, and then I guess I definitely would like to forget the feelings of anxiety and fear that I think are kind of entrenched in our <clears throat> mindset as a society in a way that we haven't, at least I haven't experienced before. Yeah. Yeah, and I echo that. I mean, it's been so nice developing close relationships with friends and people I uh, didn't know as well or reconnecting with people over Zoom that I haven't talked to in a long time. Um, I also learned how to cook Sweet. pretty decently. Not so bad, not so bad. Um, and then, gosh, uh, I honestly, like, I, I feel like I've, I've just been, I, I don't really have, what would I like to forget? Um, nothing. I've enjoyed this in a way. I mean, it's been like scary and, and hard and challenging and uh, brought up a lot of stuff, but I feel like I've, I've grown exponentially in the last few months in ways that I wouldn't have had life continued on as it, as it was. And then just based on, the, you know, talking about the experience of your characters, how do you, what's your personal take on, you know, roommates pairing up during the quarantine, yay or nay? I mean, I think that's like, I'm sure it depends on the couple. It's, it's hard to have like an overarching yes or no. Um, but I think as a rule of thumb, being open and being vulnerable and allowing yourself to express fears or feelings, even when it's scary, I think go for it. Yeah, I say, why not? Try it. Mm -hmm. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Get your heart. <laughs> And then just finally, what's the one pandemic buzzword you hope to never hear again? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, mean, <laughs> I think I've blacked them out already. <laughs> I can't think of any. I can't think of any <laughs> pandemic buzzwords. I don't know if it's about buzzwords as much as like, I think the biggest bummer of this time is like I, not being able to see my family like face to face and like hug people. Yeah. So if there's anything I want to go back to, I think a lot of the change that's happening on an environmental level, on yeah. an economic level, on a, uh, I think it's all very necessary. I think it's uh, important. And, you know, the only thing I really miss is hugging people. Uh -huh.